Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another Pandas tutorial video. In this video, we're going to learn how to add a subtotal and a grand total rows to a data frame object. So here are my Excel spreadsheet. In the spreadsheet, I have my uh, source data set that I'll be using for this demonstration. And on the right hand side, I have a pivot table, which is what we're going to be making using the Pandas library. Before we begin, let's take a look at the uh, source data first. For the source data, my table has five columns. The last two columns, uh, column D and column E, those are my data points. And column A, B, C are my categories. And I want to add a grand total uh, to my data frame object. So if I go down to the bottom, and here's my grand total. And followed by the subcategory, which is going to be based on uh, per video, per year. So for video AAA, I have 2019, 2020. And for video ABC, since this video only has data for 2020, we're only going to get one subtotal for this video. For video XYZ, we're going to have two subtotals. So 2019 and 2020. Now let's go to our Python script. Here already pre-wrote some of the uh, Python script. So here's the uh, importing statement. I'm also going to import the NumPy library. And here's my importing statement from the Excel spreadsheet. And the source data is sitting on the data set tab. Now I'm going to highlight the code I want to execute. And I'm going to run it. Now if I print the data from the object, and here's the source data. We have five columns, year, month, video, title, views and impressions. Let's start with uh, something easy. We're going to add the grand total row first. So first, we need to figure out how to get the grand total for views and the impressions. And to do that, I need to extract the views and the impressions column first. Here within the DF object, I'm going to reference the views column and the impressions column. Now if I run uh, line 16, oops, should be impressions. Here I have the data for views and impressions. Now I can uh, insert the sum method to grab the sum total. And the grand total for views is 18,913. And the grand total for impressions is 13,432. Now if I pull out my uh, Excel spreadsheet, and just do a quick comparison. And here I can see that my data is exactly the same. Now we have the grand total for views and impressions. We just need to figure out how to insert that data to my data from the object. There are two methods I want to show you. The first method is the appear method. Using the appear method, we can insert a new record to our data from the object. So here I can reference the, I can, I can basically just take this name right here and just copy and paste. Now if I run uh, this line right here, oops, here I'm getting a type error. Uh, it can only appear in a series if ignore index is equal to two. So after the append method, I'm going to insert the rename method. If you want, you can also just set the ignore index value to two. And that also uh, resolved the issue. But since I like to uh, do things a little bit more elegant, here I can directly assign the row label. I'm going to name the label grand total. Now if I run this name right here, oops, uh, let's see. I don't think that's the issue. Here, let me try this. So if I highlight from here to here, from the DF object, all the way to the end. And that gives me the grand totals for views and impressions. I think before I probably insert the uh, closing bracket in the wrong place. Now if I run line 18, this time it prints the entire data set along with the grand total row at the end. And to get rid of this uh, non value, I can insert the fill and a method. I want to replace all the uh, not value with an uh, empty string. Now if I print line 18, so I'm going to insert the print statement and run. 
Now I have my data fan data set with the grand total at the end. All right, so that's for the grand total, and that's for method number one. For method number two, we can use the loc uh, method to directly assign the grand total. Here, let me just make sure that my DFM object is still uh, on touch. Okay, so the uh, data set looks good. For method number two, I'll be using the loc method. So here I can directly assign a new row. I'm going to name this row uh, grand total, and the grand total is going to be my index name. So again, I'm going to grab this name right here, and I'll just put it right here. And I'm going to run line 21. Now if I print my DF option, and again, my grand total is going to be assigned at the end. And unfortunately, unlike the append method, uh, once the uh, grand total is assigned to the data from the object, and it's basically if you want to remove the grand total, you have you have to manually uh, remove the the row. If I print the DF object now, and here's our grand total, and to remove the uh, null value, here we need to use the fill and a method. And again, I want to replace the uh, null value with empty string. I need to reassign the the grand total row. Oops. Oh, I made a mistake. So this should be df dot look. I need to reference the grand total row dot fill and a. Okay. Now if I print the df object. Now I have the same result as uh, method number one. So that's for the grand total. Now let's try something more advanced. This time we're going to add the uh, subtotals based on uh, each video per year. To add the subtotals, here let me re-import the uh, DF option. To import the subtotals, we need to group by the data set based on the categories that we want to uh, group by. So here I'm going to insert the group by method. I want to group by the video title and the year. Now if I print um, line 28, so we get a data frame group by object. And I don't think a lot of people know this. We can actually uh, year rate uh, the this uh, group by object. So if we uh, insert a loop to iterate the uh, group by object, so we we'll get two items. The first item is the label. The second item is the data from the object based on the grouping. So here I'm going to print the label first, and next I'll print the the DF item. I'll insert an empty line. Now if I run the loop by itself, here's our label object. Since we go by uh, video title and year, so we get two items, video title and year. And the second element is our uh, data from object based on the group by uh, category. Now I'm going to copy this loop and I'm going to uh, paste again. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to create an empty list. I'm going to name this list container. Based on uh, the low concept that we can store all the uh, different object to our container list first. So to do that, uh, let me see. So here I want to add my subtotal first to the to this uh, underscore df object. And as for the label, I want to uh, use the video title. Here, let's do this. So I'm insert to uh, placeholder. This one's going to be my video title. So from label option, I want to reference the first element. And the second uh, item is going to be my year. And I know it's going to return us uh, as one decimal point. 
So I want to format that as zero decimal point. I want to add the text subtotal at the end. Now I'm going to add the uh, subtotal based on this underscore df object. So views and impressions dot sum. Okay, let me move this over. And once I have the uh, subtotal created, I want to add the DFM object to my container list. So it's the pin method. And I'll add the underscore DF object. Now let's run the loop first and we can see what the result looks like. Now if I print the container list, and this is what we have so far. So we have a list of DFM object. And to put everything together, we can use the dot concat method. And we'll provide the container object. And we'll name the output as DF summary. Now I'm going to execute line 38. And if I print the DF summary object, now we have the subtotal for uh, each video per year. Now we are done with the subtotals. I want to add the grand total at the end. So here I'm going to reference my df summary dot look, and this one's going to be grand total. So a lot of people were uh, using df summary and to grab the grand total, but in theory you should be uh, referencing the original data set, which is a uh, df object. Otherwise you are going to double count the numbers. And here I'm going to reference the views and the impressions column. And line 39 will add the grand total row. And finally, I'm going to print the DF summary object. I want to replace the uh, null value with empty string. Here I'll try to use the field name method again. Now I have my DFM object with the uh, subtotal plus the grand total. And if I just do a quick validation against my pivot table, my grand total for impressions uh, should be 13,432 and 18,913. For the subtotals, so here I have 1,771, 3,146, and if I want to do one more uh, check, so it's the first one. We have uh, 4,433 and 3,541, which match to what I have right here. All right, so this is everything I want to share in this video, and hopefully you guys found the video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.